Welcome to the Baboom Baboom Podcast, your go-to source for expert tips on car stereo installation, vehicle wiring, and all things wiring related. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just getting started, we've got the advice to help you power up your ride. Get ready to crank up the volume on your knowledge and make your next wiring project a success. All right, so we're talking ohms. Okay. We're doing a deep dive on two ohms versus four ohm speakers. All right. And um, to help us with this, we have this article from Baboom, Baboom. And uh, it's an interesting one, I think, for people who are, yeah, you know, really into car audio, mm-hmm. who really want to get the best sound. Absolutely. They've probably heard about this whole two ohm, four ohm thing. And it might seem a little yeah. intimidating. Uh, yeah, definitely. Like, what is this? How does this affect my system? For sure, for sure. So that's what we're going to try to break down today. Um, and basically help you to make a decision. About what's right for you. Exactly. Because yeah. they both have their pros and cons. Absolutely. Um, so we're not here to tell you one is better than the other. But just to give you the information. That's right. So you can make your own decision. Yeah, absolutely. Um, So to start off. I think we just need to define what we mean by ohms. Okay. When we say two ohm versus four ohm, Mm -hmm. what are we even talking about? Ohms are the measure of electrical impedance. And you can think of impedance as the resistance that the electrical signal encounters as it travels through a circuit. Okay. So in the case of car audio, we're talking about the resistance that the amplifier signal encounters as it's trying to get to your speakers. Okay, so in a 2-ohm system... There's less resistance. Exactly, yeah. Lower impedance means less resistance. And in a 4-ohm system, there's more resistance. Exactly. Okay. And so why does that matter? Why do we care as listeners if there's more or less resistance? Well, it all boils down to this. Lower resistance means more power can get to your speakers from the amplifier. Okay. And generally speaking, more power equals louder sound. Oh, okay. So if you're all about that booming bass or you just like to crank up the volume. Two ohm speakers can potentially deliver a more powerful sonic punch. So if I want the louder system, I want two ohm. It's not quite that simple. Oh, there's a catch. There's always a catch, right? Okay. Um, While two ohm speakers can handle more power. It's important to remember that they might not always sound better. Than their four ohm counterparts. Okay, so what's the advantage of 4 ohm then? Well, with 4 ohm speakers, you're often getting a cleaner, more balanced sound. Okay. Especially at lower volumes. Think of it like this 2 ohm speakers are like a sports car. Okay. They're built for speed and power. But they might not give you the smoothest ride on a bumpy road. 4 ohm speakers, on the other hand, are like a luxury sedan. They prioritize a smooth, comfortable ride, even if they're not the fastest car on the road. Okay. I like that. So 2 ohm is like raw power. 4 ohm is like yeah. precision. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, you got it. So it really depends on what you're looking for and your listening experience. That's right. Okay. Now, um, I will say this. The article doesn't go into a ton of detail about... The listening experience? Yeah. Like how different it actually sounds? Sure. Um, they focus mostly on the technical side. But you know from your experience. Yeah. Do you find that the difference between 2 ohm and 4 ohm is really noticeable? You know, it can be. Okay. It really depends on a lot of factors. The quality of the speakers themselves, the type of music you're listening to. Even the acoustics of your car can all play a role. Yeah, that makes sense. It's not like night and day. But there are definitely some sonic differences to be aware of. Right. Okay. And another thing. That's important to consider here is the amplifier. Yeah, absolutely. Your amplifier is key. Because. The two ohm system. Because it has lower resistance. It needs a more powerful amplifier. I got it. Right. Yeah. So you can't just take any old amplifier and hook it up to. Two ohm seekers. No, not if you want it to sound good and not blow up. Right. Yeah. You could damage your equipment. Because you're basically asking the amplifier to work harder. Exactly. Right. You're putting more stress on it by driving those lower impedance speakers. So it's really important to match the amplifier to the speakers. Absolutely. Okay. It's like choosing the right size engine for your car. You don't want to put a tiny four-cylinder engine in a giant truck and expect it to tow a trailer. Right. It's just not going to end well. And it's the same with your car audio system. Exactly. you got to make sure everything is balanced and matched up properly. That's the key. Okay. So we've talked about resistance. We've talked about amplifiers. There's one other factor that's important to mention here. All right, what's that? And that is wire gauge. Ah, yes, wire gauge. Good point. So for those who aren't familiar, can you explain what wire gauge is and why it matters? 
Need top quality electrical wire? Baboom Baboom's got you covered. Get your six pack today. Each combo comes in six different colors and a total of 600 feet of wire. Perfect for any project and you won't find a better price in the industry. Head over to baboombaboom.com now to snag yours. That's baboombaboom.com. Sure, so wire gauge refers to the thickness of the wire. Okay. And essentially the thicker the wire. The more current it can carry. Okay. It's like thinking about a water pipe. A wider pipe can handle a larger volume of water flowing through it. And in the same way, a thicker wire can handle more electrical current. Okay. Now, why does this matter for 2 ohm versus 4 ohm speakers? Well, because 2 ohm systems typically draw more power. They need thicker wires to handle that increased current. Okay, so I can't just use any old speaker wire. Probably not. Yeah, okay. You'll want to step up your wire game if you're running a 2 ohm setup. So what kind of wire gauge would you recommend for a 2 ohm system? Well, according to the article... 12 gauge wire is a good starting point for most 2 ohm setups. Okay. But if you have a really powerful system or if your wiring runs are particularly long... You might even need to go thicker with something like 10 gauge wire. 10 gauge, okay. Yeah, to handle all that current without any issues. So thicker wire for 2 ohm? Exactly. And what about 4 ohm? Can we get away with thinner wire? Yeah. Typically, you can use a thinner gauge wire for a 4 ohm system. Okay. 14 gauge is usually sufficient because the current demands aren't as high. Okay. So that's something else to keep in mind. Definitely. When you're choosing between 2 ohm and 4 ohm. It's not just the speakers and the amplifier. Great. You got to think about the wiring, too. It all ties together. Okay. Now, um... All this talk about power and current and resistance. It brings up another important consideration. Okay. And that is efficiency. Ah, efficiency, yes. Good one. How efficiently is your system? Using that power. That's a really important factor to consider. Especially when you're talking about car audio. Okay, and why is that? Well, think about it like this. Every car has a limited amount of electrical power to go around. Right. And when you start adding power-hungry components, like a high-powered audio system... You're essentially asking your car to work harder. To provide more juice. Exactly. And if you're not careful... You can put a strain on your car's electrical system. Okay, so like what kind of strain are we talking about? Well, in some cases... You might notice things like dimming headlights when you crank up the volume. Oh, really? Yeah. That's never happened to me. Or your power windows might roll up slower than usual. And in extreme cases, you might even have trouble starting your car. If the battery has been seriously overworked. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it could be that serious. It can be, yeah. Especially if you're pushing your system to the limit. So we got to be careful. Yeah, it's all about finding that balance. Between power and efficiency. Okay, so how do we do that? Well. It starts with understanding how 2 ohm and 4 ohm setups differ in yeah, terms yeah. of efficiency. Okay. So we've talked about efficiency. And all that, but... Um, how does this actually affect... The sound. Yeah, that's the million dollar question, right? Plus. Like, does this actually make a difference yeah. to what I'm hearing? It's tough to say. Um, I will say this. The article we were talking about from uh, Baboom, Baboom, yeah. doesn't really... They kind of glossed over it. Yeah, they don't really get into... The nitty gritty of... How it changes the sound. Right, they're more focused on the technical side of it. Yeah, like how to wire everything up. Right. How to choose the right... Gauge wire, right. but not really like... If I have a 2 ohm system... You're going to sound that different right. from a 4 ohm. Yeah, and it's tough to say because it really depends on so many factors. The speakers themselves. Uh, amplifiers. The acoustics of your car. Right. It all plays a role. So there's no easy answer. Not really, no. Okay. But we can... We can make some generalizations yeah. based on what we know about... 2 ohm and 4 ohm setups. Okay. So oh. 2 ohm systems because they can handle more power. They tend to excel at reproducing those. Oh, really low frequencies. Okay. Like the bass. So if I want... That really boomy bass. Yeah. Two ohm is the way to go. It could be, yeah. Okay. Especially if you listen to a lot of EDM or hip hop. Right. Where that really powerful bass is important. Okay. Um, but well, I, this is a big but. Okay. That's assuming that you have... High quality speakers. And a capable amplifier. Okay. Because if you have a... Two ohm system that's not... Well matched. It can actually sound worse. Really? Yeah, you can get a lot of distortion, oh. especially at high volumes. So it's not just about... Cranking up the power. It's about having everything balanced. It's got to be able to handle it. Exactly. Okay. Now, on the flip side... We have four ohm systems. And generally speaking... Four ohm speakers tend to be known for their clarity okay. and accuracy. Okay. Less about the boom. More about the... 
details. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So if you're someone who listens to a lot of classical music or jazz, Darwin. acoustic music, where you really want to hear all the nuances of the instrument and the vocals, right? Four ohm speakers might be a better choice. Okay, so it really depends on what I'm listening to. It does, yeah. There's no one size fits all answer. Mm -hmm. We've been talking a lot about the audio side of things. Sure. There's this whole other element here that we haven't even touched on yet. It's that. And that is how this affects our car. Like our car's electrical system. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is a car audio podcast. We should probably talk about the car part of it a little bit. Absolutely. So we're affecting our car now. Well, think about it this way. Your car's electrical system. It's kind of like the foundation of your house. Oh, if wrong. the foundation is weak. The whole house is going to suffer. And it's the same with your car. Okay. If you put too much strain on the electrical system. It's going to affect everything. So our sound system can actually, like, damage our car? Well, I wouldn't say damage. But it can definitely put a strain on it. Okay. Especially if you're running a really high-powered system. And you're constantly pushing it to the limit. So, like, how much power are we talking here? Well. It depends on the car. But in general. Most car electrical systems are designed to handle. A certain amount of load. And if you exceed that load. You're going to start to see problems. Like what kind of problems? <laughs> we talked about dimming headlights. Right. That's a common one. You might also notice. Your battery dying faster. Well, your alternator working overtime. The alternator, that's what charges the battery, yeah. right? Exactly. So if your alternator is constantly having to work hard. To keep up with the demands of your sound system. It's going to wear out faster. Okay, so it's not just about the sound quality. It's about the health of my car, too. Right. It's about finding that balance. Between having a system that sounds great. And a car that's reliable. So how do we find that balance? Well, well, it starts with choosing the right equipment. Okay. And making sure that it's properly matched. To your car's electrical system. And to each other. Exactly. You don't want to put a huge amplifier. Or in a tiny battery. Right. It's just not going to end well. So what should we do? If you're serious about car audio. I would always recommend talking to a professional. Okay. Someone who can assess your car's electrical system. And recommend the right equipment for your needs. So don't just go to the store and buy the biggest system they have. Probably not, no. Yeah. Unless you really know what you're doing. All right. So we've talked about ohms. We've talked about amplifiers. Yeah. We've talked about wire gauge. And we've talked about our car's electrical system. That's a lot to think about. It is. But it's all important. So to sum it all up, Soros. What are the key takeaways here? All right. So when it comes to two ohm versus four ohm speakers. There's no right or wrong answer. Okay. It really depends on your individual needs and preferences. So if I want my system to be as loud as possible. Yeah. Two ohm speakers might be a good option. But you need to make sure. That you have a powerful enough amplifier. And thick enough wiring. And a car that can handle it. Exactly. Okay. And if you're more interested in sound quality and clarity. Then four ohm speakers are probably a better choice. And they're also going to be easier on your car's electrical system. Okay. This has been really helpful. I feel like I understand this whole ohm thing a lot better now. Good. I'm yeah. glad we could clear that up. So to all of you listening out there. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of car audio. We'll catch you next time. See you. Need top quality electrical wire? Baboom Baboom's got you covered. Get your six pack today. Each combo comes in six different colors and a total of 600 feet of wire. Perfect for any project and you won't find a better price in the industry. Head over to baboombaboom.com now to snag yours. That's baboombaboom.com.